Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to this series. Today we will learn how to get the date from our server. This will be very useful in the future since we can do a lot with the time and the date. We will basically be running a script on the server and reading its result. Before we continue, I want to deeply thank all of my subscribers, especially those of you who support me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Now let's begin with the video. First of all, we're going to create the PHP file that is going to be run on our server. So we create a new file here in Visual Studio Code and let's save it. First of all, I'm going to save it on my documents for now. So let's save it on documents and call it get date dot php so first of all let's add our php tag here so php and we end it down here like that now we're going to use the date function to return the date and i will leave a link to this page here you can see different formats that we can use to get the date from our server in different ways and there's also a lot of useful information that you can read if you want to learn more about this. So let's go back to our get date and we're going to do echo. Echo is just a print and we're going to do hello. Today is and then the date. To concatenate in PHP we use a dot. So today is and we're going to get the date like this. This is actually a function, a date function and this is going to be run on our server. So the next thing we have to do is put it on our XM folder so that we can simulate our server and open it so that we can see the date. So wherever you install XAMPP, you have to go to it and inside there is a folder called htdocs. I'm going to create a new folder called Unity Backend Tutorial. You can name it whatever you want, maybe the name of your game. And I'm going to open it here and in this folder, I'm going to drag this document. So I'm going to reveal in Explorer, Control X, and I'm going to move it to my Unity backend tutorial. Now I haven't opened XAMPP yet, so I have to open it. And sometimes the services from XAMPP might not start because sometimes the port that it needs to run are used by other software. So for example, sometimes the port number 80 is used by Skype. So sometimes you can't start it because the port is already active. So try to close all the software that you might be running if you're having problems starting these services. Uh, we're going to be mainly using the Apache service and MySQL service for these tutorials. So let's start those two. And now we're going to go to Chrome. I'm going to open a new tab and go to localhost. So localhost is the same as our own address, so it means our own machine, because we're using XAMPP to run a server on our computer. Later you can have an actual server online so that all your users can get to it and get their data. Now uh, we're not doing PHP my admin yet, we just want to go to the folder we created. So I'm going to copy this name here, Unity Backend Tutorial and I'm going to paste it right after localhost. So it's localhost slash Unity backend tutorial and then the name of our PHP file. So get date. So here slash get date dot PHP. Now if we run this, you see we got what we needed. Hello, today is 2018 11 25 12 41 15. That's the time on our server. No, that's the time, the UTC time, I think. This is the time that we get from the PHP function. I'm not exactly sure which time zone this is from, but you can set what time zone you want to get your time from. So you can get it from the Pacific or depends on where your server is. That is up to you and I'm sure you can read it here. So the link is going to be in the description. So now, great, we get the time and we get this message from our server when we uh, open this link. So what we need to do now is get this from our Unity application. So in Unity, we're going to create a C Sharp class that is going to let us get this and we're going to be using Unity Web Request. So let's call this web or something like that. And let's edit it in Visual Studio. 
I'm going to put the link on the description as well for this. This is the Unity scripting API and here you can learn more about Unity web request. Uh, we're going to be using this. So I'm just going to copy the example and I'm going to explain it quickly here. So let's paste this here. We need to be using uh, networking. So let's do using unity engine dot networking in order to be able to use unity web request. So now we have uh, the address for our get date dot PHP is the one the same one that we got here in, in Google Chrome. So I'm going to just copy that URL and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to quickly explain this. Here we start the core routine. We need we need it to be a core routine because at some point we need to wait the reply from the server. So it cannot be done all in one frame. We need to wait a little bit. So if there is a network error or is an error, we're going to debug that error. Otherwise, we're going to show the results. We're going to debug it. And you can actually store the data as an array of bytes. Uh, and that's very useful if you want to parse it into other things, if you want to parse images or whatever, or if you want to save it, uh, this is very useful too. We're going to run this script and see what happens. So in Unity, we're going to put this script inside our uh, main camera. Now I'm going to create a new object. So game object, I'm going to rename it to, let's call it main. And now main, I'm going to drag this web script and let's try it. This is just a test. So play and then after a few frames, hello, today is 2018, 11, 25 at 12, 46, 22 seconds. <laughs> so <laughs> we got it, we got it in Unity and that's how we read messages from our server. So for example, useful things we can do with this. Uh, we could have in the server, uh, let's, back, let's go back here. Oh, and we need to reopen it because we move it to our Unity backend uh, folder. Let's put it here. Uh, useful things we could have. We could have a version of our application that is the minimum required in order for it to run because maybe we don't have backwards compatibility with earlier versions. So instead of doing this, I'm going to do echo. And here we can set a version. So for example, 1.0.0.2. That's the latest version that we can use, right? And of course, all this information can be inside a JSON, but we're going to just do it like this now. So this is the version. So later in Unity, when we run this, we can check the version. And if we compare that our version is lower than this, we can just show a message and tell the user, sorry, your version is too old. You need to update your app. And we can um, give them a button to send them to the App Store or whatever. Uh, that's one very useful thing that we can do with a very simple PHP script and a very simple just reading something from the server. Uh, we can get the time and then we can see if the player logged in uh, today and if they log in every day for one week, for example, we could reward them with some crystals or some money or whatever you want to give them. And that's using the same concept that we're using here. So I'm just going to keep this as what we did at the beginning. But basically, that's it. How we run a simple script on our server. And we read that from Unity. And it's very useful. Trust me, guys. It's going to be very useful for your games and your applications. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I saw a lot of positive comments on my previous series on MySQL and PHP. So I wanted to do it again and I want to try to do it a little bit better so that it's useful for all of you. If you like this video, please like it, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps a lot. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.